Okay, I'm here with Lisa again for climbing session number dope. Here we go. All right, we're on it. Hello everyone, welcome back. Episode number two. So right now I'm gonna go meet uh, Lisa and she's gonna help me out training on the off days. So the days that I'm not climbing. She's also gonna help me um, work out with all of my weaknesses and how to overcome those weaknesses so that way I can improve as a climber. So it's not only climbing a lot, but also working out. And now I need to get dressed. Whoa! All right, I'm now changed and ready to meet with Lisa. All right, you ready? I'm not ready. I'm so nervous. Goal. There are some climbing moves where you have to be able to stand up on mm -hmm. one leg and I'm just not strong enough to do that. My shoulders, I know that my shoulders are pretty weak. Grab something like this and then move over like that. I, I can. Do they feel it pinching like there's congestion of the shoulders? Hurt. Good because I have some exercise and some plants there. Oh, 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 great. So whenever I climb a lot, I get a pain right there and then I'm like massaging it like crazy and then I feel like it makes it worse. So what I'm here is to help you feel really confident on the wall, excited to get on the wall and feeling that your body has the strength, has the support, has the mobility to do exactly what you want to do on the wall. What I'll do is I'll <coughs> you just basically to see where you're tight, see where you're uh, maybe needing some strength. The exercises will come and then you'll start to feel it translate onto the wall and that's where the excitement comes in. Okay, so I'm gonna have you bend this knee to your chest. And then <laughs> Can I press down? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to get your back flat. Oh, there's everyone gets to see my little chicken legs. <laughs> Do you have muscles in your brain? Everyone thinks their body is so much different than they are. It's crazy. Lisa is just an amazing personal trainer. I'm gonna let her put a plug in right now. Hi guys, my name is Lisa, and I'd love to see you and help you uh, get closer to your own goals. I can be reached at Lisa at centralrockgym.com. Thanks. All right, so I didn't share everything with you guys. I actually had to cut my workout session with Lisa a little short. I was undergoing a lot of different exercises and stretches that was really pushing my body. It just was a lot to take in all at one time. Lisa and I decided that it would be best if we broke it up into different sessions. So then I went to go visit the route setters over in Cambridge. <laughs> What the heck is going on over here? Cookie monster. Oh, nice. You guys don't mind that I'm giving away all the beta, do you? Oh, uh, well, Peter doesn't know the beta. He's just guessing. Oh. <laughs> Evan's one of the other route <laughs> yes. setters here at the gym. Do it 
500 moves is a little harder than I thought. Yeah? It's all part of the conditioning. That's you're, you're shocking your body into something new. So next week it's going to feel a little bit easier. Okay. Not perfect, but a little bit easier. Okay. And then the following week, a little bit easier. Yeah, he sent it, man. That was awesome. For those of you who don't know what overgripping is, let's let Evan explain it. Well, the idea is that you grip as hard as you can on holds. You don't really need to grip as hard as you can to hold on. Over time, it fatigues your hands and it makes it harder to climb the whole route without falling off. What do you think, Peter? I agree. It's all, <laughs> it's all about uh, the misperception. A lot of people try and squeeze their hands as tight as they can in order to get as much comfort on the wall. But a lot of times your hands don't need to be these tight little fists, they can be open. That's just enough to stay on, conserve energy, and you continue to climb all these, these good holds with a relaxed position. But I feel like my grip strength isn't getting better because I'm over gripping. So then when I'm trying to like open hand grip on something, I haven't been building up that strength because I've been gripping like this instead of gripping like that. And mm -hmm. that's a totally different kind of mechanics in your hand. Is that right? I think that's insightful. I think that people, people do train different grip types, especially as they get further into climbing. So what should be my focus for this next week when I'm climbing? When you're climbing, you're doing your 300 moves? 500? <laughs> 500. Why are you doing your 500 moves? You think about, there's three different types of grips. There's a closed hand crimp, there's a half crimp, and there's an open hand. Climb everything with an open hand. You're gonna let your fingers extend, you're gonna rely on your tendons, not as much your muscles. All right, cool, thanks guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Oz. Bye. Bye. All right, so I'm heading to go climb with Lisa right now. It is really cold out here. So basically, I don't know if I really knew what I was getting myself into um, because I am training a lot all of a sudden. I'm like hungry all the time now, I'm tired. Yeah, so it's almost like I'm a real athlete again. Ooh, what? What was that, Lisa? So I finished my warm up and it killed me. Thanks a lot, Lisa. <laughs> I'm actually like more sore from the stretches you gave me than from like working out. When you first start doing stretches that are trying to move parts that maybe need some more flexibility, mm -hmm. then you will find that you'll be sore. Why are my hamstrings sore as if I worked out? I didn't work them out. But I knew you were going to be sore, so that's why I kind of mentioned it to you. <laughs> But then that'll go away after you do that for like a week or two. Um, yeah. That soreness will go away. All right, well, let's get ready for climbing. guys thanks for watching uh vlog two done and now Ivana's gonna take it away for the ending hey if you liked all of this climbing make sure to like and subscribe and to 
turn on your notification button so you never miss the chance to climb with Alex. Have a good day, guys.